Well guys, two new back again. Um, haven't done a video for about two weeks now, as you may have noticed. Been a little on a busy side, uh, been doing a bit of trips to the, uh, London and uh, went to uh, Play Expo in Manchester last week, which was pretty cool, I enjoyed it. Um, the other thing I say about Play Expo is it is good, but I, I think it is getting slightly worse every year. Not to say it's bad, like, but um, I still enjoyed myself nevertheless. Got to play a few retro games, some arcades and that type of thing. But anyway guys, this week we have got, and well, let's see if I can say this right, we got a, an unlicensed Mega Drive game film. Uh, this is uh, Sh uh, Xiaohu Feng Yanzhen, I think that's how it's pronounced, or I could have just insulted somebody, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, uh, this is a Taiwanese, I thought it was Chinese actually, but it's a Taiwanese uh, made game by um, a sort of a group called Neverending Software Team. Uh, this is basically, I think they hacked the Street Fighter engine, uh, not Street Fighter, Street of Rage engine. Um, I think some of the sound effects from Street of Rage, really, to be honest, uh, and a few other things. But apart from that, it is a pretty original game. Uh, being an unlicensed um, Chinese game, you know, on the whole, or oh, Chinese, Taiwanese game, whatever you want to call it, on the whole, they tend to be a bit crap. But this one is actually pretty good. So um, it's two player. You got three characters to choose from. Um, so we'll go. We'll go the woman character. Why not? It's two player at the same time. Uh, it's scroll along beat map. Uh, this is a little story thing. You get if you hold down the start button, it flicks through them. So it's, sent, it's sort of set in ancient China with a look at it. So basically, it's a hack and slash. Uh, you can run and do an attack. You can do a jump attack. Um, two buttons together, does an attack like that. Ooh. That's like a standing attack, which is quite useful to get out of trouble. Um, you can hit barrels and things like that for extra points. You can also chop the points apart. I think you get less if you do that, to be honest. Like, But, um, yeah, so basically you scroll from left to right. There's all the rest of the beatmaps around, and you get to the end. Um, it hasn't got... A huge amount of moves this game but it is actually pretty good fun to play and uh, you know for a for a non-licensed game this is actually pretty damn good all right so i say uh you can play it in two players as i did mention uh basically you just run through the levels and you get to a boss at the end um the other attack in there you actually got a magic attack in this game as well which is, uh, they're pretty nice. There's quite a lot of different magic attacks you can get. I've seen probably about five or six attacks so far. Uh, you pick them up as you go along. Uh, at the top of the screen, you can see I, I've got uh, the attacks at the top. If I press the one button, I can flick in between them. Or if you press fire, basically it just cancels out. So what we'll do, we'll get some enemies on screen. I say this game, uh, you get four enemies on screen at any one time. Uh, some of the enemies get quite big, actually, to be honest. And consider it's only four enemies. Um, right, let's try this magic attack. Let's get myself over here. Ooh. Scroll the screen on a bit too far now, which is probably a bad news. Yeah, it's, it's only like four enemies on screen at once, but it, it does get quite uh, hectic. Um, this game plays... Nice and fast, actually, to be honest. Um, it's quite nippy to play, like. Yeah. Right, as soon as I get a nice amount of enemies on screen, I'm going to try the uh, magic attack. The jump attack is uh, very useful as well. Uh, not a bad variety in enemies either on this. Right. Right, let's show you my first magic. <coughs> Depending on which ones you pick up. There's a couple of those. There's a flame one like this. There's one with a dragon. There's a water and lightning one. Um, is like, uh, I don't know, it looks like a wind one. There's, there's lots of different attacks. I don't even know if I've seen them all actually. You can see the, uh, the screen gets quite, uh, can get quite hectic. I say, they, they, you know, they've done a good job uh, 
with the sprites and that in this game. The sprites look nice and detailed, and the, the graphics are nice. The backgrounds are pretty cool on you as well. Um, the other thing this game reminds me of is Knights of the Round. Especially the first character. He looks very much like a character from Knights of the Round. So I think they may have, like, you know, pinched a few sound effects from Streets of Rage, pinched a bit of the animation from um, Knights of the Round, but uh, apart from that, they, they created quite an, uh, an original beat em up. Which, to be honest, if this was actually a full price game, like a proper licensed game, I think it's might have actually done quite well. They obviously put uh, quite a bit of effort into making this game. Uh, this the, move, the music on here is not bad. It's pretty good. Some of the music tracks are pretty cool. Some of the bosses are quite nice. Like, the game, gameplay-wise, the game uh, plays nice. It plays nice and fast. I could say, same as all these games, it's a bit of a button masher, but it's, you know, it's, it's not boring to play. Um, yeah, it plays quite cool. You got lots of sort of, uh, you, get, you know, same thing as most people, you want to get like either slightly above or slightly below the enemies to catch them. Uh, say, difficulty wise, it starts off reasonably easy, as you can see. It's, it's not too difficult, to be honest. Like. But um, it gets a lot more difficult later on, and this is where the magic's come in good use, especially on the bosses. Some of the bosses later on will have a lot of enemies around them that are attacking you, and you get hit from everywhere, and uh, magic... Oops. Magic comes in uh, very useful at that point. Watch these guys, they attack pretty fast. She's quite good, this character. I haven't actually played the two player mode on this yet, because I haven't got anyone to play two player on it. But uh, I bet this is actually pretty good fun in two player. I can see all, you can see all the sprites uh, sort of based on ancient sort of uh, Chinese sort of uh, leaders and battles, I think. Like the Three Kingdoms games. Seems to be based around that sort of time. That's another magic, but there. He's dead. say I picked this up um, off AliExpress um, you can there's a lot of people selling repo Mega Drive games so be warned guys if you see some expensive games on eBay for ridiculously cheap uh, they are repros uh, there's a lot of people which is a bit wrong selling them as originals and say and not telling you they're actually repos because then you, you'll pay about 30 quid for it you'll get it back and it'll be a repo off AliExpress which you could have bought yourself for a tenner for free postage so be careful when buying some Mega Drive games. You can tell they're repos because the they come in pretty nice covers, but the covers haven't got the actual plastic that goes over the overlay on the covers. It's like um, shiny see-through, not like the Mega Drive sort of slightly rough plastic. And you can see from the cartridges they're not uh, originals, but say so you're not going to get an original of this game anyway because it is basically an unlicensed game, so repo only. So I got this one, it cost me um, a tenner off um, AliExpress. And I gotta say, it was well worth a tenner. In fact, AliExpress has got um, some really, some of the really expensive Mega Drive games like Glee Lancer and Slap Fight and things like that, which I bought on repos just for the just for the case that you know I would rather the original at the end of the day. But there's no way I'm going to pay 350 quid for the original. That's just crazy money, and they're never going to pay that much money for a Mega Drive game. So I just thought boxed up by the repo. I know you got the EverDrive as well, which is very handy. The uh, the EverDrive. Let's 
see if I can get to the uh, third level before we end this uh, cruiser review. Oh. Do a double attack. You can uh, scroll the screen on in this game quite fast. You can just go, but then you, you'll it'll stop you in an area like where I am now, and it, it will force you to fight all the enemies. But I say this game surprisingly doesn't get. It's it's not really boring. Like let's try one of my different magics. Uh, let's try that one. Give you an idea of some of the magics on this game. I got another one there as well. So the magics are quite cool. I like the way they fill up the screen. first guy you pick he's got quite uh, a short reach on him and these guys can be a little bit of a pain they will catch you this girl she's got quite a nice, oops she got quite a good reach here we go here's the boss right let's get some magic on him Like I say, the first couple of levels are not too bad, they're, they're quite reasonably easy, but uh, bosses later on get really difficult. Probably wouldn't take a huge amount of practice to one credit this game mine, but... Just get rid of them with another bomb. The other fire magic is pretty cool with the dragons. Damn it. Got to watch out sometimes. They, they'll catch you in one spot. You can be dead now, soon, I think. Oh. What happened then? That was weird. Dead. Right, we have a little bit of a play of the third level and then we'll uh, end the review then. So, as you will be here for ages. guys I think we'll uh, leave it at that um, yeah so um, this game um, Xiao Hu uh, Feng Yang Shan which I probably like I said just insulted somebody again uh, pretty cool game actually and uh, I think I would actually recommend getting on AliExpress and actually picking this one up uh, it's got pretty nice detailed graphics on it uh, it plays rather well actually to be honest um, it's got some nice magics and that it, it's pretty fast playing um, it is actually pretty pretty fun and exciting to play actually it's not boring at all it's, it's pretty good um, sound uh, some of the music is really good on you it's not you know the music's not fantastic but it, it's good like it does the job um, 
I say playable device would be great. Uh, it's a pretty cool little game, and I, I, I think that I'm, I'm going to give it 7 out of 10, and I think that's quite respectable for an uh, unlicensed game, and I probably have to say this is probably one of the best unlicensed games I've ever played. Especially on the Mega Drive, most of them are crap. But I know Lion, Lion King 2 is actually supposed to be quite good, but to be honest, I don't fancy a look at that. But, um... Yeah, pretty cool game, 7 out of 10. Uh, if you can, play it on your EverDrive or, you know, go in AliExpress and pick up a copy. Um, I think it'd be, you know, especially if you like these type of games, I think you'd be surprised this game's actually pretty good fun. So, um, we'll leave it that then, guys, and I'll uh, catch you next time in a review. And, um, I say I'll probably, I picked up a few things at Play Expo, so um, I'll probably do a video next time with some of the pickups I've done lately. Some of the bits and bobs I've picked up. So um, we'll catch you again, guys. Bye now.